I'm always in traffic with the lane expert. You know this type of person? Constantly re-evaluating their lane choice. Never quite sure. Is this the best lane for me? Spotify is a global music streaming service provided by Spotify AP, a Stockholm-based company created in 2006 by Daniel Ek and Martin Lorenzo. Today, Spotify is the largest music streaming platform with over 248 mil million monthly active users and it is available in 65 countries. This video will explain some ways Spotify is affected by and is affecting different types of globalization, both in a negative and positive manner. Culture and music are historically very intertwined. Spotify therefore exposes its listeners to other cultures. Exposure and knowledge of other cultures heavily contribute to the globalization of culture, as exposure and knowledge breeds understanding and empathy. For example, listening to American rap, an historically African-American genre, might help someone better understand the racial inequalities in the United States. This is however hindered slightly by Spotify's algorithm that feeds a person music they are probable to like. This exposes a person to similar music and culture, creating a sort of cultural bubble uh, around the person. Although people could listen to music from other cultures, the algorithm forces this to be a conscious decision, which discourages the experimentation. The same principle applies to the country's own culture. Before, people might have searched for local music in music stores, thus experimenting with their own culture, while today most people are fed international and homogenous music. For example, in 2018, only 2 out of 10 most played songs on Spotify in Sweden were actually sung in Swedish, and only 3 of which were made by Swedish people. This may also be a cause of globalization in general, as most Swedish people know English to a very high degree, and thus have no problem understanding worldwide music. Swedish people's ability to speak English might also be due to the interest created by music. Multilingualism, the Ability to speak multiple languages can also benefit all types of globalization as it becomes easier to communicate and therefore to consume other cultures, ideas, and technology. Multilingualism can make us feel more connected to the world as, as the person will be able to understand more languages and likely understand more cultures. This positively affects sociological globalization, meaning that people might feel like a citizen of Earth rather than a sole country. But, while social globalization is all well and good, online streaming sites aren't the best for economic globalization, especially for the artists themselves, but also for the country. This is because Spotify and similar streaming platforms do not pay as much CDs used to. Spotify pay about $0.006 to $0.008 per stream, and this is then shared between the artist, the producer, and the record com and the company. And while compare, yeah, compared to the 13% shares that the artist got from a CD, they could get about $1.16 to from a $9.32 CD um, according to the BBC then. And in order to get this same money from streaming, a song would have to be played 170 times. And it is probably because of this that the music revenue in the USA dropped from 21.5 billion in the, its peak at, in the late 90s to less than 8 billion dollars uh, in 2015. Continuing on this and continue on this splitting up of music. For example, the production of CDs, it benefited many parts of society. Before Spotify, the CDs would have to be made, exported, and sold, all of which provide more jobs and it, therefore more tax for the country. For example, in 2018, Spotify had 4,000 employees compared to the guitar, was it, what was it? Guitar Center, which is an Amer American music retailer, they had 10,000 employees. Um, Guitar Center is also just a music retailer. It doesn't. It's not accountable for held accountable for the transport or the production. Um, in a way, their Spotify therefore worsens economic globalization, 
and it, as it hinders GDP growth. Uh, large GDP allows for the country to develop and contribute to other types of globalization, for example, hosting Olympic Games or building infrastructure. And of course, there's still CDs sold, but not in the same volume as they used to before this, these online streaming sites. The digital nature of Spotify lets us to trade between countries as there's no need to import physical music today. This is something that negatively affects economic globalization. Trading also had an important job of exposing and connecting cultures through the people working in the record industry. Although the trade between countries has worsened, the overall connections between nations have increased because of services like Spotify and the internet as a whole. Another point of view is that Spotify allows people that don't have a lot of money to have access to music and enjoy it, without having to pay for anything. As they are limited and maybe can't travel, they still are able to get to know different artists from other countries. This will elevate their understanding and empathy for other countries. Music in general, and therefore Spotify, have a huge amount of soft power, as music is able to affect opinions and therefore politics of other people. Examples of politics and music can be seen in the punk rock of the 70s and 80s. In some cases, the music itself may not contain a lot of political messages, but the community around it does. Spotify can therefore contribute to the spread of political globalization, the homogenization of political policies to facilitate other types of globalization. In some cases, music can affect political globalization and society as a whole in a negative manner from the messages that the music spreads. This can be seen in the punk rock historical affiliation with anarchism and the left-wing politics. This in turn might create skepticism of supranational organizations like the European Union. Music as a whole provides the basis of cultural diplomacy and soft power, as can be seen in American-sponsored music concerts in the Middle East and Chinese operas in neighboring countries. While cultural globalization might have caused the interest in foreign music in the first place, Spotify is still quite evidently a product of both global technological globalization and historical globalization. Technological globalization and technological advances made it possible to stream music in the first place, which is also what Spotify is based on, streaming. Internet and generally improved communication allow Spotify to acquire music while it also allows artists to upload their own music. Spotify is affected by historical globalization which in general can be seen in the 65 countries that have this app. Most of the countries that have Spotify are situated in Europe, the Western world, while most of Africa remains Spotify-less. The fact that Africa doesn't have Spotify might be due to the profitability of the region, it being the poorest country on the earth, meaning that it is not in the interest of Spotify to expand there. The lack of Spotify in Africa might also cause African culture to be underrepresented on Spotify. Spotify and other streaming services similar to it require less energy than its CD equivalent. Spotify therefore prevents the production of unnecessary CDs and vinyl. This does not mean that streaming is spotless as the massive amounts of servers and computers still need energy to stream the music. A person needs to stream 324 songs before the energy from streaming is equivalent to just the production of one CD. The CD then also needs to be played. So in order to make CDs more efficient, one would have to play the same song the same songs hundreds of times. Although Spotify is quite ideal as an organization, as it has made a profit, the higher theory of liberalism still fits it the best out of the ones we've been taught so far. If Spotify would have been acting according to realism, it may have forcibly bought up other record labels to further its own interests. Spotify, instead being a liberalistic company, explains its cooperative nature. Spotify and the artist both gain from the platform, Spotify from the ads, and the artist from the royalty or streams. The theory also explains how countries, or the entire international system, is affected by the soft power of non-governmental actors like Spotify. However, in conclusion, Spotify affects many parts of globalization. It affects not only cultural globalization, but also sociological, political, and economical globalization. But hopefully you've learned something from this video and thank you for watching.